In this video, I'll show you how to capture and organize your expense receipts in OneNote. If you travel a lot for work, you know the pain of having to organize all your receipts for business expenses. You might have a bunch of loose receipts that you sort by the date, taping them to a letter-sized paper, then scanning them to be submitted along with your expense report, and you hope that you're not missing any receipts. Rather than dealing with that nightmare, you can use OneNote to make things easier. Essentially, you create a section in OneNote called Receipts, create a new page for each month, and as you incur business expenses, just take a picture and save it in the appropriate month. At the end of the month, since all your expense receipts are already captured and organized, you just have to export the page as a PDF and submit it along with your expense report. And now all your receipts are searchable because they're in OneNote. For this, you'll need to have the OneNote mobile app installed on your phone. I'll be using an iPhone, but the Android experience should be similar. And it helps if you have a desktop version of OneNote rather than the Windows 10 version, and you'll see why later. Okay, so let's first set up our receipt section in our OneNote notebook. I'm just going to set up a new section in my existing notebook and name it Expense Report. And now I'm going to create a note page for each month so that I can drop the corresponding receipts into them. I can, of course, click Add Page and enter the month in the Page Title field and repeat this for each of the month. But an easier way to do this is to just type out all of the months on a single page, then right-click and select Link to Pages. This will generate new note pages, assuming you don't already have a page with these titles. Now that these pages are set up, the best way to manage the expense receipts is to capture them as you get them. After you pay for your meal, just snap a photo of the bill. After the taxi ride, after your trip to Starbucks, snap photos of those receipts. Get into the habit of doing this because it'll make your life so much easier later. So what you do is first open up your OneNote app on your phone, navigate to the notebook, section, and the month where we want to capture the receipt into. Then choose a camera icon, choose take picture, swipe to select document, then snap. You can adjust the borders of the receipt if you need, then hit confirm. You can further edit if you need to. And if you have more receipt to add, you can choose the add button, then hit done. If you collect more receipts later on, you can come back to this page, select the note page title field so that the keyboard comes up, choose the camera icon, and repeat the steps as you had done earlier. When you're ready to submit your expense report for reimbursement, you can simply open your OneNote for desktop, select the appropriate month, change the page size from the View tab. I'm going to select the letter size. Anything that falls in the gray area means it's outside the printable margin, so you may need to resize and reorganize your receipts on the canvas. Unfortunately, you can't choose the paper size in the Windows 10 version of OneNote, and that's why I suggested earlier that it's best to do this in the desktop version if you have one available. Now we can print either as a PDF or to a physical printer, and submit these receipts along with your expense report. Well, that's it. Hope this was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thanks, and see you in the next video.